Ninja. I'm just going to show you a quick video of how to duplicate your money. It's a great easy way to uh, max out your bank really really fast. All you need is time bombs and the uh, galvanized knuckles. I will advise you to do it with two people just so one guy can take care of the zombie right now. Unfortunately I am by myself and I have to take care of the zombie and try to do the glitch at the same time. It's a fairly easy glitch. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run. I'm just going to take you on a little tour. You want to run all over to the box. If I would advise you to hit or make Leroy or, or I don't know his name, the flop guy or whatever. Huge guy to hit the box with, yeah, just give him candy. And he'll come here, smash the box. That way it'll, it'll never leave. And you can continuously hit the box until you get time bombs. So once you've gotten time bombs, you want to run all the way over here. You can either get Leroy to hit this, I don't know why we didn't. But you want to pick up the galvanized knuckles chalk off the board, which we did. It would be right there, and place it any of the question marks. Galvanized knuckles cost, I think, around three or four, oh, six thousand dollars. And it's required for the glitch. So now I'm going to take you guys to the bank since this guy is out and I can do it now. So what you want to do first is take out all your money that you wanted to duplicate. So I took out for the requirement of the video 114000 just because it's easy to duplicate. So once you take out all your money, you're going to throw down one time bomb. I think the box and I want you to, you're going to run all the way back here. Knife this with your galvanized knuckles and you can start depositing money into the middle part I'm gonna do as much as I can until that zombie hits me you don't touch the money until the end of the video because if you touch it midway it's gonna mess up the glitch I'm sorry about this zombie but it's really annoying I'm trying to not get that money to disappear either. So, the way it doesn't disappear is if you keep on that money, it'll come back. That's why it's just really easier with two people, so you can take that zombie away from you. Okay, once you deposit all your money into the middle, like you want nothing in your hand. Just a sec, I'm about there. Okay, now that I put all my money into the middle part, you are now supposed to switch to your time bomb, and you're going to actually activate it. So remember that I took out 100 and I think 11 or 20k. I'm really not sure what that meant. When you put on your time bomb, it resets everything, and it puts it back at, in the middle. So I have 114k, and then bam, pick up the money in the middle, and now you have $218,000.